The red sleeve and its stars continue to reign over most buzzworthy drama and actor rankings. Once again, NBC's The Red Sleeve has dominated this week's rankings of the most buzzworthy dramas and actors. For the fifth consecutive week, The Red Sleeve topped Good Data Corporation's weekly list of the dramas that generated the most buzz. The company determines each week's rankings by collecting data from news articles, blog posts, online communities, videos, and social media about dramas that are either currently airing or set to air soon. Not only did The Red Sleeve remain the most buzzworthy drama of the week, but its stars Lee Se-young and 2PM's Lee Juno continued to sweep the top two spots on the list of most buzzworthy drama cast members this week. Meanwhile, KBS's new historical drama The King of Tears, Lee Bang-won made a strong start as the No. 2 most buzzworthy drama in its first week on air. TVN's happiness stayed strong at No. 3 on the list of most buzzworthy dramas in its final week on air, while stars The A's Park Young Sik and Han Hyo Yo ranked No. 9 and No. 10 respectively on the actor list. SBS's new drama Our Beloved Summer entered the drama rankings at No. 4, and its stars Kim Demi and Choi Woo Sheik came in at No. 3 and No. 7 respectively on the list of most buzzworthy drama cast members. Blackpink's Lisa makes Billboard history as first female K-pop soloist ever to enter pop radio airplay chart. Blackpink's Lisa has just made Billboard history as a soloist. On December 14th local time, Billboard announced that Lisa had scored her first ever entry as a solo artist on Billboard's pop airplay chart, which measures weekly plays on mainstream top 40 radio stations across the United States. For the week ending on December 18th, Lisa's solo B-side money entered the chart at No. 40. With this new achievement, Lisa has become the only female K-pop solo artist in history to debut on the pop airplay chart. Only two other K-pop soloists have ever entered the chart at all, Psy, with his smash hit Gangnam Style, and BTS Suga, as a featured artist on Max's Blueberry Eyes. As a group, Blackpink previously entered the pop airplay chart last year with Ice Cream, their hit collaboration with Selena Gomez. Money also extended its own record as the longest running song by a K-pop soloist on both Billboard's Global 200 and Global Excluding You. S. Chart this week. In its 13th week on both charts, Money came in at No. 30 on the Global Excluding You. S. Chart and No. 53 on the Global 200. Additionally, Lisa's solo title track Lisa stayed strong on the global excluding you. S. Chart at No. 198. Congratulations to Lisa on her historic achievement. In CT's Mark, Doyam, and Johnny apologize for their reactions to an earthquake alert during live broadcast. Three members of NCT apologized for their reactions to an earthquake alert during a live broadcast for NCT's new album Universe. On December 14th, NCT held a live broadcast on YouTube titled NCT Universe Countdown Live. At around 5.19pm KST, someone received an emergency alert on their cell phone warning of a magnitude 4.9 earthquake just off the coast of Jeju Island. After seeing the alert, Mark, Doyle, and Johnny reacted by singing and dancing to the song Earthquake, one of NCT's B-side tracks from Universe. The other members put a stop to the behavior and the live broadcast continued on. Afterward, Mark, Doyle, and Johnny posted apologies to their personal Instagram accounts. Mark wrote, I want to say that I am deeply sorry for the image that I showed of myself during today's comeback live broadcast. I am really sorry for misjudging the situation and acting carelessly and rashly. I will reflect deeply on myself and work hard to never show behavior like this again. Doyan wrote, Hello, this is Doyan. During today's comeback live broadcast, I made a rash mistake without properly recognizing the situation. I want to apologize for those who were hurt and felt uncomfortable because of my frivolous actions and words. This was entirely my mistake. So I apologize again without excuses. I will work hard in order to not make a mistake like this again. Once again, I want to say sorry to those who were hurt by my actions and words. Johnny wrote, 
I am very sorry for my rash actions during the comeback live broadcast. In future, I will be more careful about my thoughts and actions. I am really sorry. I want to apologize again to those who felt uncomfortable while watching my behavior. The 2021 KBS Song Festival announces more special unit performances including 17 Duet and Girl Group Collab. The 2021 KBS Song Festival has promised more thrilling collaborations and unit performances. Previously, KBS announced that Hybe Labelmates Tex and Inhypen would be performing an epic cover collaboration stage together. On December 15th, KBS announced that Seventeen's Soundquin and DK would be singing a duet together on the show. The two members are part of Seventeen's vocal line, with DK recently proving his vocal chops as a musical actor in Excalibur and Soundquin participating in OSDs for dramas like Record of Youth and Love Struck in the City. DK and Soundquin also participated in the Hospital Playlist 2 OST Is It Still Beautiful? The other special stage is an epic girl group collaboration composed of 9 members from 6 top girl groups in 2021. These girl groups are Red Velvet, Oh My Girl, Brave Girls, Itzy, Stacy, and Ive, though the 9 members have not yet been announced. The girls will perform Girls' Generation's Way to Go as an anthem of positivity and strength. KBS stated, the 17 vocal line members duet that sends warm comfort to everyone in the world, and the collaboration between representative K-pop girl group members with the message of taking strength, will move the hearts of audiences in the cold winter. The 2021 KBS Song Festival is scheduled for December 17th, hosted by Astro's Chai Yun Wu, Oh's Shou Yun, and SF9's Rowan. The performer lineup includes Red Velvet, Stray Kids, Text, Oh My Girl, Itzy, The Boys, Espa, and Hypen, Kang Daniel. Lee Muji, 17, Sunny, New ESD, Astro, Brave Girls, NCTU, SF9, Kim Usak, Stacy, and Ive. What are your thoughts for this news? Share your thoughts with K-pop Radar on the comment section. And by the way, I'm really sorry if I pronounced name or title wrong. I hope you enjoyed the video.